warm welcome to Sarah. Before I became a parent, I was really excited about all the cool things that I was going to teach my daughter. Even in the first year, you have a lot of really, first couple years, a lot of really cool things. You teach them how to walk, how to talk, how to go potty, manners, all those wonderful things. But what I really didn't realize is how much my little child was going to teach me. Now there's the generic stuff I could tell you, but she, she taught me how to love more and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> the reality is, she actually taught me a few, few really practical things that I can use in my life and my career. And so that's why I'm a, I am convinced that we should all be thinking like a three-year-old. And I'm going to give you a few examples of those lessons and, and things that I've learned and, and how they've gotten me to where I am today. The first lesson that my daughter has taught me is to always ask why. Like many preschoolers, my daughter doesn't do much of anything without needing to know why she's doing it. Even just waking up in the morning, it's a lot of time to wake up, but why? Because we have to go to school, but why? Because we have to go to work, but why? Because we have to pay the bills. Why, why, why? You get the picture. <laughs> I have to be honest, I am often frustrated by these questions, and I've caught myself with the typical mommy responses because I said so. But the reality is, I think this is really good behavior to encourage because as adults, we stop asking that question, and it's, it's really beneficial. And I found this especially in our jobs. In the beginning of my career, I was always afraid to ask people why we do things, or you know, I would get my assignment and just take it and run with it. But I found that when we ask a question similar to why, that isn't, but why, but what is the outcome we're driving for, or what are we trying to accomplish by doing this, it, it usually leads to a conversation that either makes us realize we really shouldn't be doing it at all, or it just helps us refine our objectives so that, so that we're getting to a better outcome. So that's my first lesson for you guys, is ask why. The second lesson I've learned from my three-year-old is, when in doubt, just try. Now, last night we were watching a recording of the U.S. Gymnastic, women's gymnastics trials, and I was really excited that my daughter was just as into it as I was, and after watching for a little while, she got up and started spinning around the room and jumping, and, and of course with her questions, is this gymnastics, Mom? Is this gymnastics? Is this gymnastics? None of it really looks like gymnastics. <laughs> After a while, though, she kept watching, and her little skills started to get a little better, and, and, and she, just because she was trying and she was encouraged. So to, by today, she's not exactly an Olympic athlete, but she was trying, and she continued to try, and, and things began to look better and better. The fact of the matter is, you never do anything unless you try. So many times in my life, in my career, I've really wanted to do something, but I've been nervous, I've, I've kind of shied away from the idea, I've been afraid of rejection or failure, and find, when I finally actually got up and did it, it worked out well, and I learned something and improved, and, and it, even if I did fail, I gained a valuable lesson. So my second lesson for you to remember is when in doubt, just try it. The third lesson that I've learned from my daughter, and this is probably my favorite, is when you fall, kiss it better and move on. <laughs> the, the kiss it better method is probably the first placebo that we get introduced to in our lives. And it's really an amazing thing, because my daughter can fall off of her four-foot playground, have a scuff or a scrape that sometimes makes me want to pass out, but if I go over there and kiss it better, it's like nothing ever happened. And she calms down and moves on. Throughout our lives and our careers, we often fall, we all fall, and most, mostly figuratively. Uh, we might get passed up for a promotion, uh, we may even lose our job or have a personal crisis. I'm not one to say that you should just deal with it, but in a figurative sense, take some time, kiss it better, and then move on. These were just 
three lessons that I've learned from my three-year-old, and I hope that they've convinced you that if you think like a three-year-old, you'll be happier and more successful.